load in here. Oh. It's just loading up. Hello, Janira. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Oh, the audio is connecting. Okay, hello, good evening, William. Hello, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Hi, teacher, and you? I am great, I am great. Let me see, just let me, let me, let me do something here. I'm sorry, Ouch. something fell off. Sure. So, how was your day, William? Yes, tell me. I need help. Oh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I received your message. I'll help you. Recibí su mensaje. No se preocupe. Later, we're going to talk about it, okay? Vamos a hablar luego. William? Tell me. Usted me mandó mensaje, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, no se preocupe, lo tomo en cuenta. Este, si no es ahora, mañana le voy a estar indicando cómo haremos. Please, teacher. Ok. Ok, perfect. Thank you, Janira. Got it. Ok, don't worry, William. Don't worry, don't worry. Welcome to the class. Bienvenido a la clase. Mr. Nicolás Atilio, good evening. How are you? Nicolás, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you, mister? How's everything? I'm fine. Thank you. In this moment, relax. That's cool. So what time do you finish working? Uh, my day is, is, um, uh, is, is correct, more or less difficult or más o menos yeah, difícil? Yeah. You can say that or you can say a little bit difficult. A little, dif a little dif difficult. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, teacher. And tell me, what's your schedule? What time do you finish working? Sorry, teacher. In this moment, I connect my, my headphones in the telephone. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around in the meanwhile? Let's see, ouch. Mm -hmm. Daniel, hello, Daniel, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Yes, sir. 
It was fine, just fine. Tell me, how was your day? Okay. I think it was Okay. Yeah. What time did you finish working today? Uh, about a half hour. Okay. Uh, so I can see you are a little busy, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. As it's no problem. No problem, just let me know when it finishes. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay let's see, let's see who else is around. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Maria Luisa, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you, Ms. Carpeño? Good evening. I'm fine, and you? I am just great here, ready to start the class. And tell me, how was your day? Uh, my day, day. Uh, my day was very good. That's excellent. I like to hear that. My, uh -huh. yes. It's good, it's good, it's good. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Miss Claudia. Oops, let's see. Yeah. Claudia Ramos, hello. Oh, you're moving around your house, Claudia. She's looking for a point where she's going to get her class. That's cool, that's cool. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you're giving me a tour. That's nice, okay. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Ah, uh, good evening. Good night is when we say bye, okay? Ah, okay. Good evening is when we say hello. Okay, well, tell me, Claudia, how are you okay. today? How are you today? How was your day? Did you have a good day, a bad day, a regular day? I'm tired, teacher. Oh, really? What time do you finish working, Claudia? Uh, I finish my work at 4, 4 p.m. At 4 p.m., okay. But after my work, I, I go to a supermarket. Oh, I went, I went. I went, okay, I went. Okay, that's cool. Tell me, what did you buy? Ouch. What did you buy at the supermarket? What did um, you buy? I bought. I buy vegetable. I and bought rice and more vegetable. <laughs> okay. Now you have to tell me because it's in pass. I bought. Okay, I bought. I bought. Remember, I bought is the pass of vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. okay. You bought, you went and bought veggies. That's cool. Now let's see. Let's see. Thank you very much, Claudia, and welcome to the class. Let's see who else is around. Francisco Jose, hello, mister, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? 
I'm just fine. What about you? I just think uh, it's well, but I'm finishing my dinner right now. <laughs> okay, enjoy. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, let's see. Well, but I got, don't worry, Francisco. I got another Francisco here. Francisco Eduardo, hello. How are you, mister? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. How's everything? How was your day? Um, a little tired, teacher. Uh, I am going to my job uh, I, at 6 a.m. and I go out at 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, uh, I am uh, when I when I I come to my house house uh, I am cleaning the house and I I have a dinner and I take the class teacher. <laughs> okay, so you've been busy. Estado ocupado. A little teacher. <laughs> okay. Listen, what I told you is this. You have been busy. Remember, present perfect. Yeah, teacher. Okay, Hello. cool. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, only teacher. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, let's see. And welcome to the class. Let's see who else is around, Thanks. who else is around. Uh, so, Nicolas, now you got your earphones. Now we can talk. Open up your mic, please. Activate your microphone, Nicolas. Okay, thank you. Okay, so how was your day? What time did you finish working today? Um, and on this day, my in my work, I redact in my, my work in day is reduction of inform oh. inform all day. Okay, uh, reports. Is, That's what you mean, right? Okay. Reports. Report. Yeah. And uh, uh, reuniones, teacher. Meetings. 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 Okay, and, and meetings is is are boring, boring? Boring, yeah, they boring. are boring. Uh, yeah. yeah, they tend to be. And this moment I I need contact other person and institutions for other other meters in two or three days last okay for more meetings in two or three days wow so it's going you're going to be busy yes uh, well that's the yeah. way it is my friend sorry teacher that's the way it is Así toca. okay thank you teacher Okay, no thanks to you. Now let's see, Mr. Jose Osorio, good evening, how are you? I've been very well, thank you, and you? Uh, well, you're great, fine, I think, I guess so. So tell me, what about your day? How was your day? What did you do today? Uh, it was excellent because I just spent time with my family right now and i'm so happy to continue the in the class that's great that's the attitude my friend tell me did you go to work today yes okay and what time did you finish working um i finished my work um, around 4 35 p.m okay well and what time do you get home um, I get home around 5.15, 5.15. Okay, so it's not far from your house. Uh, no, 
uh, it's uh, so so Relatively, 11 kilometers oh around 11 kilometers oh. around 11 kilometers and i i drive to my work every day oh that's fast then yeah okay that's cool that's cool well welcome to the class Jose. thank you Let's see, Mrs. Susana Beatriz, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, teacher. And tell me, how was your day? Um, and yeah, so, so, I, ha, I, I work hard and uh, uh, come on. I finish, I finally, I finally, uh, I now oh, okay. uh, and work, uh, but uh, I prepare um, information for my my boss. Oh, mm -hmm. that's complex, delicate. <laughs> it's a it's a difficult. It's a working in in house, um, at but at home. Uh, but uh, I have a, a hours, a first hour or beginning hour, be, beginning uh, for for working. But I I haven't I haven't a fin finally a finish 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 it finishes hour for oh, working. Okay. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. So you have, what you mean is this, you have a check in hour. Lo que se me dice que tiene una check in hour, hora de entrada. Okay. But you don't have a check yep. out, pero no tiene check out hour. Ah, okay. No tiene hora de salida. Right? Check. Okay. Thanks. Remember, check in is when you get into your job or just start working, and check out is when you finish working. Okay. Okay, well, thank you and welcome. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am just great. What about you? <laughs> um, I am okay. But... <laughs> oh, how come you are okay? Uh, today I was a difficult day, a uh, very it busy. Was, it was. It was a difficult day, um, very difficult, uh, a lot of work, but stay here. <laughs> okay. The good thing is that you're young, don't worry about it. A joven, don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, welcome to the class, Maria. Thank you, teacher. Fernando Gonzalez, hello, good evening, mister. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I feel better compared with yesterday. Oh, really? That's cool. Tell me why. Is there a, something, a special reason? Uh, yesterday I, I got sick. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, tell, I tell really me, I, I, I'm the doctor, tell me the symptoms. What were the symptoms? Uh, I have a cold and okay. I have food. The good news is I don't have a fever. Okay, ah, that's cool. I am not running a fever, remember? I told you that last module. I am not running a fever. In Spanish, we say, tengo fever. In English, you say, oh, I'm running a fever. Okay, can you send in the chat? Oops, I'm sorry, my gosh. Everything I am texting is just to somebody, okay. 
Just wait a second. It goes, oops, running. Running a fever. Running a fever. Like in, like in correr. Okay. Well, so okay. today you feel better. Tell me, what did you take yeah. for the cough, for the flu? Have you taken any medicines? Uh, yeah, I automedicate. <laughs> self. So, self. Uh, okay, I. I self medicate. I self medicate. I took a I took a pill called um, Dextrodel. Okay. It's so. Did it help? Did it help? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I see. It helped me. It helped me a lot uh, with um, uh, a blister. Blister is okay. blister. Yeah, blister is a blister. Blister is una well, palabra inglesa. Yep. ¿Qué significa español? Actually, I don't know what what does it mean in Spanish. No sé qué significa en Spanish, but I mean we oh. use it to identify the other. Uh, okay, uh, one blister. Well, uh, yes, I know what is a blister, actually. Sí sé lo que es un blister. Uh, but in a different context. En un contexto diferente. Uh, es como una... Uh, como una ampolla cuando nos quemamos. Oh, listo. Esas son la, okay. las, las chibolitas que nos hacemos cuando nos quemamos. Uh -huh. Sí, una, una polla. Ok, that's a blister. Ah, ok. In this case, blister is a container yeah. of pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh, now I know what they are called that. Because blister also means burbuja. That's why. Uh, ok, burbuja. That's okay. the reason. Okay. In this I context, took... blister is burbuja. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Okay, uh, I took one blister of, of this. Oh, really? And yeah, it's, it it's enough. I, That's cool. They, uh, it's really good. Well, yeah. I'm oh, glad I that you are better. I am glad Thank that you are better. Sure. And welcome to the class. Thanks to you. Let's see Thank who you. else is around. So, Francisco, Jose, you finished? Ready now? Yeah, teacher, I'm finished. <laughs> okay, tell me, how was your day, my friend? Okay, um, I think so was great, but so meditated, but I have a lot of calls today, almost around 200 or 600 calls a day. And my schedule okay. from, yeah, my schedule schedule. is from- Schedule, schedule. Schedule, okay, my schedule is from two, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And that many calls? Yeah, almost 600 or 1700 calls. Okay, well, that's Because fun. I work from, from customer service, there are so many troubles in the airplanes and some flights can be changed and something like that. I have so many trouble with that. Well, yeah, I know. And even the training for when you're going to work for air companies is long. Yeah, it's almost one month and two weeks. Yeah, it's a month and a half. Yeah, I remember they, they once offered me that position. But uh, I mean, no, <laughs> my thing. not really no, my thing. No, yeah, I got it. Not really my thing. I mean, and besides that, I, I was just applying for a part-time. Do you playing for a part-time or me? Yeah, I was applying ah. for a part-time and they offered okay. me that position, working for airlines. But man, it was just the training was one month and a half. It was crazy. Because, I didn't have but the, the trouble, yeah, but the trouble in this case is is have the airplane for a lot of information and you can understand all about that but the troubles or troubles in in airport uh, troubles in the flight 
troubles in the change flight or in, in package or so many <laughs> and you got to need to understand all of them. Okay, package or baggage? No, package. Okay, yeah, because baggage is the... Uh... Back, <laughs> they're back, no, it's package. No, 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 sorry. What I mean is this, baggage. When you say baggage, when you are talking about uh, airlines, when you say baggage is las, eh, realmente lo que nosotros decimos las maletas. If you say package, could be boxes. Los paquetes. Yeah. Ah, okay. In this case, is baggage. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Well, welcome to the class. Interesting talking to you, okay. my friend. Okay, thanks, teacher. Let's see, let's see who else is around. I still got uh, a few minutes to greet somebody. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my friend? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Very well. Okay, and tell me what. What did you do today? What were your activities? Oh, okay. Now, yeah, your activities, um, my day in my world is uh, for the moment. Uh, and my department is excellent work and, and relax. And my department relax. Okay. Uh, oh, and <clears throat> I explained, teacher. Uh, and good company uh, and works uh, in the month uh, of October uh, to March at the department design and oh yeah lot, you told a me lot, a lot you of told work. me that after that you relax a little bit right yes yes uh, so right now you are moment you're calm uh, yeah. everything at the moment in the in the plan the production is uh um heavy a uh, 100 percent yeah i can imagine i can imagine well thank you walter and welcome to the class okay let's thank see you. martha where are you Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm just great here. You know, another day, another dollar. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, just here, kicking it. So tell me, Marta, how was your day? It's what's uh very busy day, uh, some calls, some cases, but I am ready for learn more in this class. Okay, cool, that's the attitude, my friend. I like that. And let's see, just to be clear, Marta, you need to stay tonight with me after the class. Okay, teacher. 10 minutes. By the way, okay. I'm going to... I'm going to tell the, the names that are of the ones I have assigned for this week. Diré los nombres de los que tengo asignados para esta semana en el orden que vamos. Today, Marta and Abelinda, tomorrow, Ambar, and Friday, ouch, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you happy because class. we are. Eh, no, meeting for Friday. Yeah, yeah, we got a meeting on Friday. Sita, when you say Sita, it depends. A date is when it's a, a romantic, okay? Mm -hmm. When you got one with the doctor, it's appointment. Appointment. Yeah, that's, that's when, when, when it's with the about, doctor. Uh, the one we are having is a meeting. Meeting, ah, okay. Or it, it is also called a one-on-one -on -one session. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Because this is a, a, a group of video conference. Mm -hmm. Then I will have a one-on-one -on -one session just with you. Well, today with Marta, tomorrow Amber, and Friday with you. Okay? Okay. So, how's everything? How was your day? What did you do today? I was, I think that I was um interesting day because I was- It in, was, it was an interesting day. It was, yeah. It was an interesting day because um, I had the closing. The okay. So, yeah, closing. Uh, I think that everything is okay because oh, I don't have, cool. it's, it's ra raro, sería ra rare? Well, raro. strange, strange, strange or weird. En este For caso me? creo que sería más apropiado weird. 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 I think that it's um, maybe a little weird because I don't have a lot of um, troubles. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's very, very weird for me. You, usually but, you have more problems at the, at the end of yeah, the month, at the closing. Yeah, okay. because um, sometimes I have some um, different situation in the system. Uh, in my case, I, I use um, a lot of systems. Okay. So I need to, uh, the information is uh, synchronized. Synchronized. Synchronize in all the platform platform platforms. So uh, sometimes is um, the more uh, problem in my closing, okay. but in this month it is. It was my, easy. Yeah, I think I was working okay. in maybe in ten ten minutes ago. I said, como diez minutos. Yeah. I just finished work, but everything is okay. For okay. me, it, it was you a can good say, day. If it's an informal conversation, the one that you're having, you can say, it went smoothly. It went smoothly. What yeah, is the meaning for smoothly? Smooth is suave. Smoothly is suavemente. But in an informal conversation, you can say, oh, today everything went smoothly. Okay, interesting. O sea, todo pasó bien, no problems. So, in my case, June, it it went smoothly. Okay, that's cool. I imagine that when it goes wrong, it's because of Janita, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, thank you, Roxana, and welcome to the class. Thank you. Janita, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Okay, good evening, Janira. Tell me, please, I need you to tell me about you, one of your classmates, one activity that your classmate can do and one that your classmate cannot do. Okay, my classmate was Marta and Jose. Marta... Okay, tell me about Jose. No, I, I want to know about okay. Jose. I, you know Marta. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, Jose, he can drive, but okay. he cannot play the guitar. The guitar, perfect. Thank you very much, Janita, and welcome to the class. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Edward, you got your sentences ready? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Yes, I am ready. Okay, tell um, me about one of your classmates. In the case of Maria, uh -huh. uh, she told me, can still, Still. <laughs> Can't still. <laughs> oh, cannot still. Still. Uh, uh, yes. Um, oh, chicken and... still. Ah, buena para. Oh, interesting. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't say. Oh, <laughs> this. okay. And Maria is like, no. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now, the affirmative, uh, something that he... she can do can play to song in the piano. <laughs> oh, really? She can play only the two, piano? Only two, only <laughs> two. Oh, two songs. Well, that's that's more than me. I just can play one. 
más que mí. Yo solo me puedo una. Okay. Todo. She's good, she's good. Thank you very much, Edward. Okay. Let's see, sí. let's see, let's see. Who else? Carlos Murillo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me about your classmates. One affirmative, one negative, please. Okay, I tell about uh, Edward. He okay. can draw. He can draw in AutoCAD. Um, oh. He can play video games. We think uh, Francisco can make a tutorial to to Edward to. Yeah, to because Francisco game. he's good for playing video games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's cool. Remember, okay. remember, guys. Thank you very much, Carlos. Draw. The verb draw, dibujar, okay? But in his case, when we are talking about AutoCAD, in this specific case, Carlos, instead of draw, is Drawing. design. In this case, is design. In este okay. caso, te diría que es más diseñar, okay? okay? Perfect, thank you very much, Carlos. Mr. Osorio, tell me about your classmates. Tell me about one of your classmates. Hello, Jose. I think we are having problems with your microphone. No worry, Jose. Later, you can help me. Don't worry, don't worry. There's Elvia here, and Elvia wants to participate. Hi, Elvia. Hi, teacher. Tell me about your one of your classmates, please. And. Um... Classmate Walter and Francisco. He can okay. uh, he can a good driver. Oh, okay. he's a good driver. Wal cool. Walter. <laughs> okay. And, and Francisco, he can play video games. In my case, I can I can cook barbecue. I I can do a budget. Okay, barbecue, that's cool. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, who else, who else, who else, who else? Uh, Maria Alejandra, tell me about your classmates, about one of your classmates. An affirmative and a negative, please. Okay, I choose uh, Francisco. <laughs> okay, tell me about Francisco. Francisco can can a draw, a draw. A draw. Um, draw, draw uh, dibujar a mano. Yeah, hand draw. Uh, hand draw, uh, but he can paint. He cannot paint? Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of painting, Francisco. You can paint your house, right? <laughs> that's painting. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, yes. okay, that's, that's painting. Solo, that's painting. solo grafitos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she get, he gets the, the surprise, you know, and starts like a landscape. <laughs> oh, a landscape. You know, Edward, the ones who work, who, well, the slang for the people who, who apply graffiti on, on, on walls, actually, it's they are taggers. And slang and caliche. They are called taggers, the one who go get a spray and start painting, a, doing something, writing letters on a, on, a, on a wall. They are taggers because what they, at the end of the whatever design they. Teacher, I can hear you. Teacher, you can hear. You can hear me now. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. So I was telling you that they they get a tag. They at the end they put a tag. Tag usually means vignetta. But when we are talking about the people who get the spray and start spraying walls, it means the like their signature. 
en el caló eso significa la firma de ellos, their tag, el nombre que le ponen al final. Okay. So let's see, let's see, guys. Now I want to know about your contributions to your company. Let's see who's going to be my volunteer. So my volunteer is going to be. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. You, Roxana, thank you. Thank you for being the volunteer today. Tell me. Okay. Tell me, this is the question for you. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Um, provide is... Uh, Proveer. Yo doy. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no comments. Please continue. <laughs> Solo eso. I, I neither, oh, I neither oh. comment. Eduardo. What happened? Eduardo. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. It's other conversation. <laughs> Eduardo, that was a soccer punch. Blacklist. Gol Eso fue un golpe bajo. Soccer punch. Edward oh. is in my blacklist right now. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now tell me, Roxana, well, what services? What do you do in your company? What benefits do you provide? Uh, currently, I'm working in a finals area, so I okay. think that my um, I think that the benefit the benefit uh, that I uh, give to the company is my knowledge about finals and uh, um, accounting payables and okay. commission. Cool. She's being very specific. Thank you very much, Roxana. Excellent. I almost believe with you. Casi le creí. It was well, de well delivered. Okay, guys. Now, let's get serious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, now, did you see how did I ask her? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Okay, that question, write it down because I'm going to divide you in groups of three members and you are going to be asking that question to your classmates. But before that, I'm sorry, guys, I need to get the attendance. My bad. I'm so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. I have forgotten the attendance for today. see. Now let's see. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Okay, let's see, what did I do? Oh man, sorry guys, I made a mistake, a little mistake here. Okay, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you, Edward. Elvia Janet Beltran de Cabrera. Present. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José is here. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales yes. de Torpeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Menéndez Granados. Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Oh, she's not here. Hi, Susana teacher. Beatriz. Ortiz de Cornejo. Yes, Daniel? I have a little trouble with the microphone. Yeah, but no, I was problem, no problem. Yeah, I got your attendance. Don't worry. Sí, lo vi. Le yes. la asistencia. No se preocupe. Eh, Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. 
Walter Mauricio Morales Raujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Hey, Wilfredo. Hello. William Giovanni Present. Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks. Francisco Jose Menendez Aguilar. Present teacher. Perfect. And almost full house today. Cool. So remember right now, you got the question that you are going to be asking and answering? Tenemos la pregunta ya? I texted it to you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to get the breakout rooms. Let's see. Uh, perfect. And create and open. Okay, guys, let's do it. The question is what uh, well, benefits did you provide to mm -hmm. your company? Uh -huh. What specific benefit do you provide to your company? Exactly. Okay. What about you, William? Uh, what how is in Albanisa? In the department in a different part. Teacher. Not a good idea, please. <laughs> what is not a good idea? <laughs> Talk about the edge. The edge in the work. <laughs> the edge in the work. Don't get it. No, not really in, in the world. The edge to everybody. La edad como experiencia. Um, oh, <laughs> no, because. I older, then it's, it's, it's not a good idea. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I not agree. <laughs> I don't agree. I don't agree, I don't agree. Well, you know, I got 21 years of experience. You are a teacher. So uh, it depends on the area, remember. the In some areas, the age, it's important because in my case, I got a big experience. The only thing that I need to do is to be like updating with vocabulary, with techniques, and now with technology. Mm. But if you are true. updating yourself, that's not a problem. And in your in your area, come on, Janita, your area is coding. It's a uh, um, re, um, the edge is not important because I know, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know a younger that are very good programmer or analyst, and I know uh, some people that is older and and, has and they are a, also good. Yeah, a good experience. Yeah, so then I, mean, I it think so. On the area. Yeah, because I think so in my area is not important. You can work if you are very old or if you are young. Yeah, it's the same. The same goes like for look like for secretaries in some companies. Yeah, the, the old the body. secretary, <laughs> they know. No, but in some companies, the oldest secretaries they know everything, how the company runs. Yes, of course. They know everything. And whenever there's a problem, everybody runs to that one. I had I had a work. Uh, a job. In, a, I job. a job. I had a job uh, that some woman, uh, what is the correct one to say? Older woman. Yeah. The older woman know all 
about this company. Yeah, they do. So yeah. as I tell you, it depends on the area and it depends on the activity they are performing. She, she has uh, the same weight at the company, like like a president in this company. Yeah, yeah they know everything. They know the company. Yes. They know the company. Uh, I got to work for you guys, for this group. Uh, they knew the, they know the company inside out, inside out. Se conoce en la compañía revés y derecho. Okay, inside out. Okay, guys. Well, I will let you be. I gotta go check another group. Bye, teacher. Hey, teacher. Bye. Bye. Quality. Yeah, the Sorry. No Sorry. Repeat, please. I provide mayor quality in the product. Oh, yo estoy mayor, aportando mayor, 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 mayor yeah, yeah, yeah. to the product. That's okay, that's okay. It's it's well said. So you work in quality control, William. Uh, what is how is the difference como le explico a ellos de que como mi trabajo trato de aportar mayor calidad. In the production. Okay. Uh, in this case, podría ser así. Better quality. Better quality. In production. He, pro he, pro he provides better quality in production. Perfect. I provide better quality. I better quality, quality, quality in production. In production. Perfect. Uh, teacher, in, in my case, I I provide my knowledge about manage uh, small project uh, about okay. management of small projects. Management uh, a small project. Perfect. About what about you, project. Jose? Uh, I provide to improve the production flow and the constraint operation. Okay, that's very important. Production flow is something that companies are very, very interested. Well, actually, in a company, you know, everybody plays a key, a key activity. In a company, yes. todo el mundo tiene un puesto clave because I mean, even the cleaning people help a lot. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you guys. Teacher, how how many benefits? Uh, one or two is okay. One or two is okay. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, Daniel is still in the meeting. Don't worry, Daniel. In your case, you can just be listening. So, Amber, how's your little pet? Ah, uh, sorry, teacher. Be, uh, my pet, she, she. How do you say, ella se golpeó la pata? Injure, <laughs> injure. Yes. Injure. Uh, okay, injure. listen, listen. Injure her. Injure oh. her paw. Injure her paw. Oh, injure her I, paw. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Yeah, that's. I I show you my pet. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little okay. animal. They suffer. They are delicate. I, I don't know. Well. Oh, little thing is out there. So sorry to hear that. Okay, now let's yes. see Amber. Let's get serious now. Tell me, what benefits do you provide to your company? Well, in my case, I provide incomes for the company because I am seller. Yeah, that's true. Excellent. What about you, Elvia? In my case, is and may to supply and may daily availability. 
Okay, daily availability. That's cool. What about you, Claudia? I provide my time. And your knowledge. I go after my work. Okay, yeah, you're, uh, what do you do, Claudia? You're a teacher, right? I'm a teacher. <laughs> okay, so you provide your time and your knowledge. Okay, okay. excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, let me just check if the other groups are finished already, okay? Okay, let's go check. Um, <laughs> so they are. Yeah, they are what? They are like a. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Like a shirt. Cuando una persona <laughs> es pesada, hard person, no. Heavy. Yeah. No, no, in this case, no, but if you say heavy, you are talking about weight. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. This case must be forma hard. De hablar, de, de tratar oh, really? hard. Mm, I don't know, real? Real? Rude, ah, rude. Right now we are talking about uh, service. Okay. Calls okay. or something like that. So uh, right now, I'm working with um, Republica, Republica, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. 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 So I think that it was uh, right now. It, it, it is very rude because um, they are rude to talk all time. So okay. Now tell me. They are being rude, or that's just the way they speak? <laughs> because I mean, that happened to me once with some. Uh, I had a boss once. She was a, a Spaniard. She was Spanish. And she was from Valencia. And her accent to us, to Salvadorians, sounded pretty strong, pretty heavy. You know, but that's just the way they talk. No, ellos son pesados. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you say like, no, 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 they are like that. So for me, in my case, it's very, very difficult give um, uh, services very, very... Provide, provide a service. Provide that service. But I try. Okay, yeah. It, it, uh, right now we are talking about that because uh, Francisco told me that uh, Carlos and me uh, we are um, counter. We are a uh, counting and yeah. very uh, stressful. Yes. I, in my opinion, uh, I think that the ser that give uh, services. For client, to provide a service, to provide a service to client is very, very stressful because I don't really have that ability. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I you try. know, to it's a different type of patient. Yeah. Well, guys, it's time. Let's go back. Okay, let's see. We are just waiting for everybody to come back. They still got 31 seconds, 27. They're coming already. Okay, let's see. Well, Roxana, she told me already what benefits allegedly, supposedly she provides for her company. Now let's hear to Carlos. Carlos, tell me, what benefits do you provide to your company? Okay, I, 
I'm work teacher in in in, in prepare you know, make a budget and monitor okay. to the in, in the spend in, in the uh, about the budget. That is my work. And okay. I think I I am uh, I I I am a good good for that teacher. <laughs> okay, I am a, I am good at at it. I am good at it. Okay. You okay. see it like this. Look, I am good at it. I am good at it. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's not bad to 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 feel proud. I mean, it's not bad to feel pride of your strengths. No es malo sentirse orgulloso de so fortalezas, that's okay. okay. Let's see, thank you very much, Carlos. Now, 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 let's see, let's see, Janira, what benefits do you provide to your company, Roxana told me nothing. She doesn't know. <laughs> and she Maria knows. Alejandra, Maria Alejandra told me the same. <laughs> Maria Alejandra, well, I don't work a lot with her, but with Rosanna, Jesus, all the time. Okay. <laughs> and tell me what what is it? What benefits do you provide for the company? What what do you uh, do? I think so that I have a mixed skill because okay. it's very common that the people in my area have a, a specific skill is analyst or a programmer. And I have okay. both. I am an um, okay. analyst. Okay. Listen, listen to me, Janira. Okay. Both. 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 Remember, that sounds, that TH at the end, in, in the word both, in the palabra both, esa TH al final suena como F. Both. Both. Like that. Okay. I have both. Um, I am an analyst and I am a programmer. I know about SQL and Visual Studio. I use uh, C sharp, but I know the great plane. I am an uh, analyst. Oh. Okay. Visual Studio. Visual. Visual Studio. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Edward, what about you? What benefits do you provide to your company? Tell me you or I will ask Francisco. I don't know. Uh, okay. I, I. Okay. Uh, in my case, um, Additional addition to my assignments. Assignments. Uh, assignments, sorry. And addition to my assignments, uh, I am the president of the energy saving committee. Committee, oh, that's committee. cool. Yeah. Um, we look for alternative to reduce the um, electricity consumption. Electric Electricity. Electricity consumption. 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 Consumption in all company. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Edward. Interesting. Okay. Now, Francisco, is that true? Francisco Eduardo, tell me, what about you? Okay, teacher, uh, I think uh, by in my case, uh, for the kind of work, uh, I think I provide experience in a specific area. Uh, I make a non-destructive testing through X-ray inspection, inspection to problem in custom. Okay, good. It's interesting that Edward was saying, yes, it's true. <laughs> He was knowing, he was doing this. Remember guys, do you remember this word I told you the other day? He was knowing. Recordemos la palabra knowing is this. Make this action. Okay, now let's see, last but not least, Wilfredo Guardado, tell me, Mr. What benefits do you provide? Well, what do you do in the company? Uh, well, teacher, in, in my company, Always, always we have to work in innovation area. 
because um, the times are changing every every year. Um, right now, in, in, in El Salvador, is going to start a new salary. Then the company have to, has to has to find saving dollar and okay around the process. Then we, we work in many, many process uh, uh, using, using new process that, that uh, where, where we can, we can get some, some save dollar. And okay. That's cool. Yeah. And, cool. and, but it is interesting because if we work finding a new process, we can provide provide or to our company uh, many many benefits about to hey. get get saving that's yeah. cool excellent thank you very much Wilfredo. hey teacher teacher yes tell what, me what about your hand they oh, gave me hey, another what? month Really? They gave me another month. Me dieron otro mes. I, I, I'm still, I'm going to be the whole July here at home. Okay. You, because did, uh, did, did, did you learn to use the other hand? Yeah, I can do many things with this hand. <laughs> okay. Good teacher. Take, yeah. take care. Well, the most, okay. the most important is I can shower with it. That's <laughs> uh, mandatory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is your, 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 new, your new benefit that you provide to your company, teacher. Yeah, I can. <laughs> you write with I, both, uh, with both hands. hands. Yeah. Um, sort of in a way. Thank you. Now let's see. Okay, William you. Rosales, what about you, mister? Teacher. Yes. Uh, what benefits do you provide for your company, William? The classmate Fernando, I provide my knowledge about uh, management as uh, well. Okay. okay, management, knowledge about management. That's perfect. Thank you very much. What about you, Walter? Walter Mauricio, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Excuse me, excuse me. My control. Okay, yeah, my company. Oh, and delivering board on the time. Uh, so there are no delays. Okay. Uh, production, uh, the supervisor. Oh, that's oh. very interesting. Yes. yes. Thank you very uh, much, Mister. Well, welcome, that's okay. Mr. That's okay. That's enough. Yeah, I mean, to avoid delays is very important in all company. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for the rest of you, but I need to jump to next activity. So uh, I'm so sorry. Lamento por el resto, pero no estamos pasando la siguiente. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. In my scale, you provide better quality in the production. Okay, you provide better quality in the production. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mister. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. Now we are going to go to the manual. Hello, Sylvia. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Sylvia, you got a, a, a penance for coming late. Tiene castigo. Tell me, Sylvia. What benefits do you provide for your company? Um, I am a good uh, seller. Uh -huh. I'm a good seller. Uh, I do revenue management in my company. Mm -hmm. cool. um, revenue management, excellent. Yes. That's it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, no, it's, I just wanted to know if there were more activities that you could do. Okay, now for yeah. for you guys that don't who don't know the, the the word when she's talking about revenue, 
para los que no manejamos el término, revenue means ingresos. Ok. Revenue. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, guys. We are going to the manual. We are going to do the conversation. So we are going to be working in page number 11, okay? You're going to listen to me with the conversation, and then you are going to be given four minutes for you to practice. And after those four minutes, uh, we are going to present the conversation to the rest of the class. So let me share with you the conversation and it goes like this. Okay. Now, 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 now. The conversation goes like this. Just let me get you the picture. Remember, it's, uh, I always do. Okay, let me see, let me see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company? Look, can you bring in this company as an employee? Oh, in this case, what? Look. What can you bring to this company as an employee? We are missing a word here. Right here, okay? What can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Great. Oops, I'm sorry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. I repeat again for you guys. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the conduct in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Now I will repeat slow. Remember the instructions I gave you yesterday. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience, As a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Any question about the vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. Tell One me. question. Uh, please. Uh, Please repeat the third paragraph. Paragraph. Third paragraph. Paragraph. Par paragraph. 
please. Okay, let me see, let me see. One, two, three. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company? Oh, look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? There's a typo here. Aquí hay un typo. Hay un error de digitación. Okay. Olvidaron poner la palabra what antes de can. Por eso dije, look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? Okay. Entonces hay que poner la palabra what aquí. Yes, exactly. Before can. Right before can. Los que lo tengan impreso antes de can. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. You're welcome. No problem at all. Okay, guys, yes, now I'm going. Yes. Comfort, how are you? Comfortable. Yes, some people say here. comfortable and some people say comfortable. Comfortable? Uh, I just texted it to everybody. Okay. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, Did guys. Yes. Repeat. repeat. Uh, the pronoun say comfortable. Well, some people say comfortable and some people say comfortable. Comfortable. Some people say, I say comfortable. But in the conversation, I pronounced it the both ways. In the pronunciation, lo dije de las dos maneras. Because some people say comfortable and some people say comfortable. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other question? No? Eh, teacher, una consulta. Yes. En, en qué contexto se usa eso de pretty, no sé qué, pretty? Hold on. Sí, let, pretty let much, the... for example. It means very, quiere decir very. Okay, it's just okay. an informal, it's just another way of saying very. When you put it before an adjective, si usted tiene un adjetivo y antes del adjetivo le pone la palabra pretty, está diciendo, está diciendo very, okay? Like, man, I am pretty stressed today. Estoy muy estresado. Wow. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay. Well, let's go to the conversation. I'm going to divide you in pairs so you can practice. Let's see. I'm going to recreate here. Just hold on. Oops. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Guys, groups are created. Please jump in four minutes for you to practice. Hey, Wilfredo, you didn't get the invitation? Oh, there he is. I will start. Okay, I'm sorry. Daniel, did you finish? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Keep uh, right now, the, the three of us. Yes, the three of you, so you're going to turn. Take turn. Oh, okay. Okay. Amber, you start. Okay. Um, Kurt, how, how comfortable in the construction? It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager. I could be of great help in a large project. Okay. I start now. Sure. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? 
comfortable. Very com comfortable. 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 Okay. Uh, very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about this. Okay. Um, I start now. Okay. Here. How yes, comfortable? Mr. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, comfortable. listen, listen to this. Did you hear it? Yes, I, I hear you. Com comfortable. Comfortable. The problem is this. Oh. The proper pronunciation is comfortable. 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 Yep, like that. Okay. Comfortable. It's it's more uh, comfortable. Okay. Yeah, that's the that's the most correct. Some people say comfortable because it's easier, but the correct correct like phonetically correct is comfortable. 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 Sorry. Comfortable. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Really comfortable, sir. With my Kurt and the Andre. Here, how comfortable? Comfortable. Do you feel? Comfortable. 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 It's difficult. I know, I know. It's difficult. <laughs> Do you feel working in the class area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yeah, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in the large project. Okay, another one. One more time. One more time, sorry. <laughs> okay, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in this sales area? Very comfortable. <laughs> of my experience as a manager, as a manager, I could be of great help in large project. Listen to me, Roxana. Oh, remember, OF. Okay, I'm sorry. Eh, lo voy a decir en español. La F en este caso, cuando solamente es una F y va al final, como en este caso que es O, suena como esto. Mire por acá. O. Una V. O. I could okay. be of great. Yes, I could be of great. Pero eso es eh, por la regla de la siguiente palabra, de la siguiente consonante. No, o por no, lo que sucede es esto, que si usted me dice of, está diciendo la palabra que en inglés lleva ah. dos Fs. Mm. Es apagar. Mm -hmm. ¿Eh? so, Entonces, cuando... Oh. Ser, cua, cuando siempre que yo ve... tenga en un... Para, en un eh, párrafo o f siempre oh, tengo oh. que decir o yeah, tips oh. tif tif no ama tif oh no en este caso en particular o o o o o y oh. en el párrafo en el uno dos en el cuatro I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience of 
of yes, my of, experience. Of my experience, ok. Y quiero ver, en este caso sería, I could be of great. Yes, I could be of great. Ok. I could be of okay, great. great. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, okay, please. And remember, comfortable. 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 Yes. Tell me, Nicholas. Comfortable. Yes, this, this word. Comfortable. Comfortable. Ok. Yeah. Comfortable. Fonéticamente, fonéticamente, la manera correcta es esta. Comfortable. 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 Mm, más corto es el F. Comfortable. 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 Yeah. The problem is the, the phonetics. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can give it to you. I the problem is the phonetics. That, that a word like uh, comfortable. Yeah, How comfortable. Me too. Comfortable. Do you feel but the correct the word to pronounce it is like this. Look. Here we are. Teacher, other word, please, do you pronounce Area is the correct pronunciation. Area, 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 area. Okay, did you see it, uh, Roxana? So sí, the sound is griego. that. No, but that sounds like this. I'm sorry. Eso suena así. Listen to me. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. 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 Like that, Roxana. Comfortable. comfortable. Pero cortito, ¿verdad? Comfortable. Comfortable. La K suena alta. Comfortable. Por eso es que el fur solo suena así. Fur, fur. Comfortable. Comfortable. Like that. It's okay. a little bit difficult, ¿no? Yes. Yeah, but it's phonics, so don't worry about that. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, thank you. Okie dokie, let's see, everybody's coming back. They're coming back in 20 seconds, so while they come. So, Jose Osorio, tell me, where do you work, Mr. You told me yesterday, I remember. Yeah. Please repeat again, teacher. Where do you go? Where do you work? Where do you work? I work in manufacturing in Balsamar Manufacturing Limitada. Oh yeah, you told me that uh, you work with underwear, right? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. I will, I'm trying to, to, to get that info in my mind. Now I know <laughs> that you work in that. I know that Francisco works in uh, Paul Center. I know that Atilio is, uh, is an engineer. And... Yes. Hmm, I know teacher. that Claudia is a teacher, yes. He's my co-worker. Who? Osorio. Oh, really? Osorio. <laughs> oh, yeah, we work in the yeah. same company. That's yeah. cool, that's cool. Let me see. Yeah. I know, no, I don't know about, I don't remember about Susana, I don't remember about Maria. Daniel, Daniel, you are an engineer, right? Yes. Uh, you're a civil engineer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you about, see, I'm trying. About Francisco and Edward. Francisco and Edward. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I know about them, guys. I know them. They work in customs. I remember about you. Okay, guys. Let's start. Let's start. Let's see. Ámbar Alfaro and Daniel Eduardo. 
Ambar, you are going to start. You are Andre. Remember, okay. guys, that's not Andre. That's Andre. Who will you start? The, did you see the accent? I'm sorry, Ambar. You, but do you see the accent going to the other way? Ven que el acento está al revés de como lo usamos nosotros. That's because it's French. And usually, the, the French sounds in English, you pronounce them <laughs> as in French. So in this case, it's not uh, Andre, it's Andre, Andre. A little bit round at the end, Andre. Este, al momento de, cuando hacemos una oración, estábamos haciendo, I am a teacher. Y ahí, este, I am not a teacher, pero a la hora de preguntar, usamos, are you a teacher? Okay, let's see. So, Amber? And oops, I'm sorry, Daniel. I took off your microphone. Amber and Daniel, let's do okay. it. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in a large project. In large projects. Perfect. In large projects. Excellent. Edward Ademir and Janita Elizabeth. Edward, you'll start. Kirk, how comfortable, comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, guys, very well done. It's like this, it's like this. Look, look at the chat. The first symbols are the, are the phonetics, okay? I was explaining to some of you. The proper sound of this is comfortable, comfortable. That's the most correct. Phoneticamente, eso debe sonar así, comfortable. The K goes up. La primera sílaba va alta. Comfortable, comfortable. The F, it's el sonido de la F, O, R. En este caso, se une la F y la R. Comfortable, comfortable, okay? I know it's a little bit hard, guys, and it takes a little bit of time, but practice it. You'll get it, comfortable, okay? Now, let's see, let's see. Next, Claudia Ramos and Fernando Gonzalez. Claudia, you'll start. Okay, kitchen. Hurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, 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 now. Let's see. Hold on just a second. Francisco and Maria Luisa. Francisco Jose Menendez, sorry. Okay. You start, Francisco. Perfect. 
I'm still waiting for my cell phone. Is Do you want me to share the screen? Si gusta se nos comparte acá. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Sorry. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Yeah, I got it. Okay, Kurt, you start from how come? Yeah. No? Yeah, please. Kurt, how comfortable do you do you feel working in the sales area? Perfect, comfortable, dear. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, could you bring to this company as an employee? I will be, I get asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, I uh, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in la large project. Yes. Okay. okay, now let's see. Construction, construction. And Mr. It sounds great. Construction. It sounds, it sounds great. It now, Elvia and Wilfredo. Elvia, you start. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't find uh, the conversation. Here you go. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Start again, Elvia. Okay, here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? I can see well, teacher. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, but you okay. find it. Let, let me, let me go. Let's do something. Mientras usted lo encuentra, let's see. Will, uh, Elvia and uh, Maria Alejandra. I got it, teacher. You got it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Again, Elvia, I'm sorry. <laughs> Karen, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. Yeah, yes. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to, the, to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I will be, I could be of great help in a large project. Perfect. Nicolás Atilio and Roxana Asensio. Nicolás, you will start. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee. I will be great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of, of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help 
in large project. Perfect. Jose Osorio and William Rosales, please. Jose Osorio, you will start. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With me, my with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, excellent. Now, Silvia Vendaño and Susana Beatriz. Uh, Susana, you start. It's cure. How? Comfortable. Do you feel working in the cell area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, Cam, you bring it to the company as some employees. I would be a great assist in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's so great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, thank you very much. Perfect. Now, Carlos Antonio Murillo and Marta Morales. Okay. We'll start, teacher. We'll start, teacher. I'm sorry. Carlos, you start. Okay. Okay. How comfortable do you feel working in the, in the sales area? Very comfort, comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can, what can you bring to this company as employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Francisco Eduardo and Walter Mauricio. It is your whistle. Uh, you, Francisco. Okay. Kira. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Uh, pretty uh, comfortable, still. With my experience, I can say I will be and get an opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in this company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, great. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, because of my experience as manager, I could be of great help in large employer. Okay, perfect. Remember guys, uh, something that I told you last time and everybody, and I mean this for everybody, remember, could, could, would, okay? The letter L before D, Gap no sound. La L antes de D no tiene sonido. Could, would. Okay? Okay. Now let's see, am I missing someone? Me falta alguien? Janira, did you? No, right? Sí, you sí. And, Yo pasamos. and Edward. Okay, well, Janira, you and Maria Alejandra, <coughs> you're going to help. You start, Janira. Yo con quien? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Edward. No problem. No problem. Not you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, 
How comfortable do you feel working in this sale area? Pretty, com pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great, a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in a large project. Okay, guys. Now, something that I want to remind you. If you are not able to say it like this, like comfortable, comfortable. If you cannot say comfortable, you can say comfortable, just like that. Comfortable, it's accepted, okay? But the proper way is comfortable. And if you are in an informal conversation, and it's if that conversation is very informal, you can say uh, comfy. Like, you know, oh man, I wish I had Janita's chair. It looks very comfy. It's very informal, you see? Yeah, it looks very comfy. So that's informal, pretty, pretty informal, okay? You use that with your friends, with your family, otherwise you say comfortable, okay? Now let's continue, guys. There's something that I want to review with everybody because I know that you know it, but it's always good when we review. And I have prepared a short PowerPoint presentation for us to analyze a little bit about, well, we got, I'm sorry, the title is wrong, but let's see. It's not Ken and Ken. This was yesterday. It's models, okay? So, what model auxiliary is used to express a capacity, an obligation, or a conditional? Roxana, tell me, which one is used to express a capacity, an obligation, or a conditional? Teacher, I can see the presentation. It's like a, a borrosa. Blurry? Yeah. Let's see. Um, what about now? Just I, I understand eight cap capacity. Eight capacity, para expresar una capacity. capacidad. Yeah. Uh, can I think or that must? It's can must. Uh, capacidad. Yesterday's class, an ability. Can. ¿Puedo la clase de ayer? Yeah. Okay, we are talking about can. Now, let's see. Shanira, an obligation. Will, can, or must? Will. An obligation would. Mm. Can or must? Okay. must? Perfect. Now we are talking about a conditional ambar. Would, can, or must? Um, would. Perfect. Now we got an interdiction. What is an interdiction? Ooh. It's the same as when we are saying an uh, obligation. Now, future, Carlos Murillo, which one is used for future? Will, mustn't, or should? Will. A piece of advice, we got will, we got must, mustn't and we got should. Now we got permission, interdiction and supposition, but this is not what I want. Here is what I want to practice with you. Modal auxiliaries. Remember when we are expressing sentences using auxil the modal, we don't use to. I can ski. In this case, after the modal, never use to. Después del modal, nunca usamos la partícula to. Okay? 
it goes straight with the verb. Now, he would like to be able to ski. Now, look, to is after like but not after the model. Yes, Nicolas, tell me. Teacher, sorry, what is the model? Uh, for example, in, in Spanish, what is the model? How do you, um, mm. como puedo interpretarlo? Okay, let's see, in Spanish. Uh, el problema es este, mire. Que los modales expresan grados de probabilidad, posibilidad, sugerencia. Usted en español podría. Ok. Ok. O la terminación esa IA en un verbo. Porque, por ejemplo, aquí dice: He would like to be able. A él le gustaría. El verbo gustar, el moda lo que hace es modificar el verbo que va a continuación. Entonces, en este caso dice a él, le gustaría. Solo que nosotros en español lo hacemos automático. Automáticamente sabemos cuándo es una posibilidad, cuándo es una probabilidad, cuándo es una sugerencia. Porque usted le dice a alguien, ah, yo te recomendaría. O oh, si yo fuese tú, yo estudiaría. Ya sabemos que es una sugerencia, un advice. Pero en inglés lo que hacemos es valernos de los modals para expresar esos grados, ¿ok? Y los modals son would, could, should, must, can, will, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Vamos bien ahí, Nicolás? Fine. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Excellent. So, in this case, he would like to be able to ski. Remember, to, it's ok after like. But it's not okay if we place it here. He will like, okay? Now, another rule, let's see, another example. He will like, oh, he will like to be able to ski. You see? He will like to be able, ser capaz, tener la habilidad. That's to be able. Now, something else. We do not use the auxiliary do for the negation, okay? We say, he can't, he wouldn't, he shouldn't, he mustn't, okay? In this case, he can't ski. Oh, you cannot use two models together. No podemos poner dos models juntos. Por eso es que en este caso no podemos decir he will can ski. We say he will be able to ski. But two models cannot be together. So you see, replacement forms. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo le hago, dice usted, cuando quiero expresar la misma idea que expreso un modal? Ah, Cuando queremos expresar can, usamos be able to, expresa la capacidad. ¿Ok? Be allowed to, es permission. Este lo vimos al módulo pasado. Have to, expresses an obligation. Este sustituye al must. ¿Ok? La obligación, have to. Okay, now what am I, what I was explaining this? ¿Por qué le estaba dando eso? Because it's always good to remember. You see it, some, some things were not quite clear with models. Now we can advance. Any other question about models, guys? ¿Hay otra preguntita con los models? No? Okay, remember, we are always going to be working with models. They are like, I mean, they appear in any conversation, any given conversation. But the basic rules are these. Never use two models together. Lo más básico. Nunca usamos dos models juntos. Okay? Never. We never place the particle to between the model and the main verb. Nunca ponemos la partícula to entre el modal y el verbo principal. Okay? Never. And for the negative form, we do not use the auxiliary, do or does. No utilizamos el auxiliar, la forma do or does. 
Why? Because we apply the negation directly to the modal. The not goes between the modal and the main verb. El, la negación va entre el modal y el verbo principal. Okay? Like right now, I should not be speaking in Spanish. You see? I should not. Any question? Are we clear? Okay, cool. Now, why was I explaining this? Porque lo estamos viendo. Okay, let's see. Here, you see, we use, will be in, in the manuals, in your manage, in page number 12, you have this. How to use will be or could be. Algo más que debemos recordar, después de un modal siempre va un verbo en su forma simple. Yo les explicaba en una ocasión que el verbo be es la forma simple, la forma base del verbo ser o estar. Las conjugaciones son am, is o are. Nosotros entendemos de que después del modal nos han dicho de que ponemos un verbo en presente. Realmente es la forma base presente. Y la forma base presente de este verbo es be. So, we use will be or could or could be when you want to give the impression of future possibility. Look, future possibility. I will be a great asset. Imagine you are in the in a job interview. Estamos en una entrevista de trabajo. And you say, oh, I will be a great asset. Yo sería un gran activo for the company. Okay? I could be of great help in the sales rep department. Yo podría ser de mucha ayuda in the sales department. Okay? Questions up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? No? Okay. Can you repeat again, please? Yeah, sure, no problem. That's no problem. We use will be and could be when we, get, we want to give the impression of possibility in future. Usamos el will be and could be para expresar una posibilidad futura. Okay? When I say, I will be a great asset, yo sería un gran uh, activo, okay? Or I can say something like, oh, I will be a better teacher if I, if I were more dynamic, okay? Yo podría ser un mejor maestro si fuese más dinámico. Or I will be a, I will be a best, person if I were more empathic, okay? If I had more empathy, yo sería una mejor persona si fuese más empathic. But I, it's hard for me, you see? Vamos bien, Francis? So, remember, always, always the base. The after will directly comes the verb. Después del will siempre viene un verbo. The form, present. Okay, simple, the base form. Now, uh, as an extra homework, I need you to do exercise five and six, page number 12. Now, in exercise six, I will share with you. In exercise six, page number 12, Okay, exercise five is just unscramble the words to form sentences. In exercise six, it says, prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits you will bring to a new company if you have the opportunity to work in it. To a new company, okay? Today you talk about the ones that you bring to your company. Now, to a new company. So you have to think about all the skills you have. But it's not going to be two minutes because we are many. One minute presentation, okay? Su tarea, una presentación de un minuto. Yo le hago la pregunta, okay, what benefits can you bring to this company? And you will tell me, okay? You will elaborate. Y ustedes me comentan. Am I clear? Estoy siendo claro? Yeah, but in this case, you will, uh, the presentation talk about a new company, about? Yep. Right? 
no yes. are we still working <laughs> No, no, no. That's why imagine that you are in a job interview. Imagínese que está en una entrevista de trabajo y yo le pregunto, what benefits can you bring to this company? Okay. Así que me van a preparar solo un detallito extra, me le van a agregar. Me van a decir ustedes para qué puesto están aplicando. ¿Ok? Usted me dice el puesto al que aplica y cuál es, qué beneficio va a brindar usted a la compañía en ese puesto. ¿Qué beneficios podría? That means that you are going to use would and could. ¿Ok? Si lo hacemos de 30, de 15 segundos, no problem, but I need you to collaborate. ¿Ok? Don't be afraid. The worst thing can happen is that you make a mistake. No se preocupen. Lo peor que nos puede pasar es que alguien se equivoque. And we are learning. ¿Ok? Estamos aprendiendo. So don't worry about it. Okay, guys, before we finish, I'm so sorry, but I need to get the... It is, it, this is for tomorrow. Yep, that's for tomorrow. Okay. Y el que me falte mañana por no darme la tarea, don't worry, el día que me aparezca la pregunto. I'm kidding, but I will. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro, say present, please. Ambar. Present teacher. Thank you. It's just because you are frozen in my screen. Se me ha congelado mi pantalla. Carlos Present. Antonio Murillo. Thank you, Amar. Present. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present, teacher. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Here teacher. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay guys. Thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Okay. Muchas gracias por estar conmigo. See you tomorrow. Have a good See night. You tomorrow. Rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night for everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Yes. I have a Bye. Yes, teacher. tell me. Este, solo le quería consultar algo. A veces yo escucho que usted le dice, esto ya se los expliqué, pero en mi caso me hicieron como una equivalencia yo estaba como okay. en el preintensivo pero no estaba en modalidad no estaba en modalidad intensiva sino que okay. estaba como en semi intensivo verdad entonces la dinámica de trabajo es un poco diferente siente que vamos muy rápido a veces mm, yo logro comprender pero no sé si usted tiene disponible el material del módulo anterior, así como este manual que nos han proporcionado para poder revisarlo y ver si hay algo que no... Vaya, este, hágame un favor, escríbame mañana, este, está en el grupo, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Me identifica ahí en el grupo? Yo creo que sí, si no, ahí voy a revisar. Si no, pregunte a Teacher Douglas y yo le contesto y luego me escribe en privado y yo le voy a explicar cómo le voy a ayudar, ¿ok? Vale, está bien. Sí, porque 
Porque es muy, es muy diferente. No es worry, no worry. La forma de trabajo y, y quizás hay unas cosas que necesito como reforzar. No hay problema, no se preocupe. Ya vamos a ver cómo nos ayudamos acá. Sí, Gracias. Sí, José. Eh, es algo similar a lo que dice la compañera. En mi caso, yo el, el inglés que estudié, lo estudié en Irca Central. Entonces, ahí. Como Marta. Hey. I hear you, teacher. Hi, Jose. Take care. Be quiet. This okay, just hold on, just hold on, just hold on. Well, nos veremos mañana, Jose. Bye. Okay. Hello, Marta. How are you? Hello, teacher. Pretty well. Marta, I need a title. I it's... never get to see you. I haven't even met you. Nunca le he conocido. You never have to your camera. I'm so sorry, teacher, but. Que ya me están um, Al menos I am en so la sorry. I don't like uh, post the camera, any, I know. any of the, in the web. I'm so sorry, but I, okay. I, I not. Uh, have Facebook, Instagram, nothing, nothing. Okay. Is is this is not for me? I'm so sorry. Okay, and tell me, Marta, uh, how can I help you? Is there any specific topic that you would like me to help you with? Yes, teacher, I need help your me. help. Uh, uh, two two question for you. In okay. the first is, uh, can you refer the topic today about the when use uh, would be or could be? Uh, it's confused future, for me. Future possibility. Una possibilidad for, for, for me, but what but, uh, is possibility? Is not correct? But. Uh, is possibly will be or could be. Is the be same? Seria. Will be. Seria. Could be. Podría ser. Okay. Okay. In so, like, case, like uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Let's see, let's see. If I throw a party, si yo hiciese una fiesta, you could be invited. Usted podría ser invitado. You see? It's a future possibility. When? ¿Cuándo se but, 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 en el but, futuro? But you can use a would be too. Yeah. You will be an, an invited. Yeah. You can use could be or will be. Either one. Ambas expresan la misma idea. Okay. Okay. Expresan okay. It's no rules of, about the when you. Difference when to use one or the other one. Now, you could be my friend. You will be my friend. Okay, teacher. Thank you. And the second question is about you recommend uh, maybe the channel or blog or or other media for listening in the day? Okay, well, 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 well. First, you can, uh, you can use the platform from Inglés Corporativo. Let me share, déjeme ver qué le puedo mostrar acá. Porque creo que no todos usamos la plataforma en su completa extensión. Okay. Eh, inglés corporativo tiene algunos uh, elementos in the platform that could be of help for you. So let's see. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, like this. Let's see. Estoy como... Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Let me share with you. Vamos a ver. ¿Sí logra ver cuando comparto pantalla? Yes, teacher. Ok. Perfect. Ahorita estoy como un learner, como un estudiante. Ok. Eh, ve aquí abajo en centro de ayuda. Yes. Yes, I can see. Ok, tenemos centro de ayuda. Y tenemos, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nos venimos abajito. Y tenemos recursos académicos. There's okay. grammar, there's pronunciation, there's vocabulary, there's video conference. Ok. Ok. I never... Ok, basic is... grammar presentations, intermediate grammar presentation, advanced grammar presentations. Esto no, porque esto es para gente nueva. Ok. Ok. But you can use... You can look okay. there. Okay. I never see the, the site in the platform. Look, <laughs> in pronunciation, you got rhythm and intonation, sound drills, pronunciation guide. Okay? Okay. So there you can have uh, information. And okay. that way you can, sure. you can practice a little bit more. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you for your help. No, no, no problem. And remember, oh. you can also practice on your own. I mean, you can, there, the all exercises are always good. Like the viejos ejercicios que nos decían siempre, siguen siendo buenos. You can use, uh, usted puede utilizar, um, uh, what you mean, what do you call it? Uh, musical videos. Okay. And what you need is pronunci pronunciation, you told me, right? Yes, pronunciation. Yes. Okay. If you use musical videos, get the video with the lyrics in English, not Spanish, okay? Lyrics okay. in English. Listen the first time. La primera vez solo escúchalo. Second time, listen and read. Para tratar de seguir, de relacionar lo que oímos con lo que leemos. The third time, listen Read in mouth, solo la mímica, no le ponga sonido todavía. Okay? okay, okay. Because vocalization is very important in pronunciation. It's difficult. <laughs> yes. Pero por eso sin sonido, solamente para que los músculos. La articulación. No okay. Exactly. And okay. then you can do the sound. Lo hizo una vez y le sonó mal. Hasta ahí. Lo vuelve a hacer el mismo ejercicio el siguiente día. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Esto es, como, esto es como la medicina. You get one pill a day. Una tableta al día. ¿Ok? No too much. Acuérdense demasiado. It's not good. Ok, teacher. How do you feel do your hands? Right now feel? it's hurting. Ahorita me duele. Hard? Oh, my God. I'm because so sorry. Of the, because of the position, mostly. Yes, yes. Estoy moviendo, but mm -hmm. I have to. I have to move it because uh, it's getting, uh, se está atrofiando. Okay. So yes. I need to, I need to use it. I mean, after the class, I'm going to do my therapy. Después de la clase voy por terapia. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, that happens, you know, that's why they are called accidents. Por eso les decimos yes, accidentes. Yes, Nobody I wants know. to undergo one of those. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. A pleasure, a total pleasure. Okay, see you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, and that's the class for today.